Hi there, uh, my name is Peter uh, and I help to lead worship at Turning Point Church in Bournemouth. Um, as I'm sure you're almost certainly uh, acutely aware of, uh, the world is in somewhat of a crisis, um, the COVID-19 crisis, whatever crisis you want to call it, uh, coronavirus, the whole world's going to pot. Um, as a result, our church, al along with every other church in the UK, and I'm sure uh, across the world as well, uh, we can't meet together physically. Um, now we are um, meeting together digitally, uh, we use Zoom, um, and I'm aware that other churches will be using things like Facebook Live, they'll be live streaming on YouTube, uh, which is great. And it's really important that we as Christians, uh, and my encouragement to you um, as you're watching, um, if you're a Christian, if you're someone who usually goes to church, um, do please still engage with your church. Um, if your church is doing stuff digitally, log in, do it, watch it, engage as much as you can. It is so important um, as Christians that we continue to engage with our um, our local church. It's important to be um, connected and committed to our church family. Um, now, as a result of all the stuff that's going on, um, I think... Well, I, I know that I'm going to have a lot more time on my hands. I suspect a lot of other people are going to have a lot more time on their hands. Um, so I thought what I would do um, is I'm, I'm going to try to post a video every week um, that will look something like this. Um, and I'm, I'm going to use some of the worship songs that we know and love, um, as well as some, some that perhaps you don't know. Um, I'm going to use that as a, a source of, of reflection. Um, we'll always be going back to scripture. Um, but it's important that we engage um, in worship um, even as we isolate ourselves it's important that we uh, continue to seek to worship God um, and one of the ways that we do that is is as we sing so um, hopefully this will be helpful to you um, and if not feel free to turn it off it's entirely up to you um, now what I was thinking about the what would I do what am I going to do for the first first video um, it struck me that what we seem to look for um, and scramble for um, in times of crisis, not just this crisis, any crisis, um, any, time of, any time of difficulty, we seem to look for hope. When everything goes base over apex, nothing is going right, um, we always seem to look for somewhere to place our hope. Uh, now I've found myself placing a great deal of hope in uh, the government. Um, I noticed that when I realised that every day I was putting on the news to watch um, Boris Johnson and his daily press conference. I don't usually watch the news that much. Um, so it was, yeah, I very much noticed that I'm, I'm clearly putting a lot of hope in that. I know a lot of other people are going to be putting their hope in medical scientists to find a cure. Um, we all look for hope in times of uncertainty. But the question that I want to I wanna ask is, as Christians, what is our ultimate source of hope? Where can we place our sure hope? This is what Roman five, Romans 5 says. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have also obtained by faith uh, we have obtained access by faith, sorry, into this grace in which we stand. And we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Our hope is Christ. In Christ, we are justified at the cross. At the cross, Jesus took our sin and declared us righteous. We are counted as righteous. And as we live through the gift of the Holy Spirit, we're being sanctified. We're being made holy. We're being made more Christ-like. And we rejoice in the hope of glory. One day, we will be glorified. One day we will be the people that God created us to be. God will finish the work he started in us. 
So what difference does that make to us now as we face a, a global crisis? And while we don't know what's going to happen, we don't know how this is going to work out, will we be on lockdown for months on end? Is it going to end in two weeks? I don't know. We won't know. And while we desire an end to it, we can place our sure hope in the fact that it will all be okay in the end. Because ultimately, what matters most is that at the end of it all, we will be with God. We will meet our Heavenly Father. And the here and now? More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. So I'm going to lead us through uh, in Christ alone. Feel free to uh, worship where you are. Um, don't be afraid if you're sat on the toilet, if you're sat uh, in your lounge, doing a bit of cooking in the kitchen. Worship where you are. Let's sing together. strength my soul this corner soul this solid ground firm through the fiercest drought and storm what heights of love what depths of peace when fears are sealed when striving cease my comforter
This is the power of Christ in me From life's first cry to final breath Jesus commands my destiny No power of hell, no scheme of man Can ever Me home.